Hi, I'm Shale and this is part 7 of the Word Edit Wrapper tutorial slash showcase. In this part today uh, we're going to talk about brushes. And brushes are this cool stuff for uh, where you, when you need to build something from really far away and you don't feel like coming closer. You can just apply uh, a brush to your tool with a simple comment uh, and then just right click anywhere to create what you've applied to it. All right, so let's get on with this at once. Uh, and the first brush we're going to talk about is the sphere brush. And to make uh, to bind it to the tool, uh, you have to write BR S for sphere, uh, specify a block, and classically we'll go with stone, and now specify a radius. And the maximum amount uh, you can put in here is six. Uh, because it would probably crush your computer if you if you were like pasting uh, a lot of things bigger than that really quickly. Uh, all right, so let's go with four for example, and now we have a sphere brush uh, of a radius four applied to our pickaxe, and now we can just right click anywhere, and the sphere is formed. And as you can see, the center of the sphere is the block we clicked at. So it's like uh, half of the sphere is buried in the ground and to see it better uh, we can actually change uh, our brush to a different material using uh, this command and this only works for the tool you're holding right now. So if you have other, uh, other s brushes applied to other tools it won't do anything to them. So let's say material glass. And now, as you can see, we've made a glass sphere and it goes a little bit into the ground, like here. Um, of course, we can make uh, um, hollow, <laughs> a hollow sphere as well, not only like these field ones. Uh, and to do that, we have to write BRS minus H, uh, specify the block like glass. Uh, and specify the radius, let's go with 4 again. Uh, and as you can see, uh, the hollow sphere did go into the ground as well, though it's hollow, so not in the center, but if we uh, dig a little bit here, you will actually find glass under the ground as well. I want to go out, please. Please, leave, let me go. Alright. Um, yeah, so that's it for the spheres. Uh, actually, if you want to uh, have your sphere touching the ground uh, with its bottom, uh, like we did in, uh, I think it was part four, the generation, uh, you only have to make a make a selection and shift it f five blocks up. I forgot to specify uh, and set it to some stoli uh, s solid block like stone and now if you point at it and hit your right click uh, you will create a sphere that's touching the ground so as you can see it actually goes four blocks into the ground just like the radius says all right so the next thing is a cylinder brush and we'll apply it to the iron pickaxe and to make it we have to just write BRC for cylinder and radius uh, and of course uh, material like stone and radius like 3 and here you can see that it's 3 by 1 and of course if we wanted to get something bigger uh, we could have just writ wrote written <laughs> written uh, BRC, BRC uh, stone radius 3 and height 3 as well so now we can see it's three by three, and only only two blocks uh, stick out from the ground uh, because just like here, one block is on the ground level here. All right, uh, you can also make hollow cylinders, and to do it, you have to write BRC minus H, specify the material, uh, the radius, and the height. I will of course write write it all down so you don't really have to memorize what I'm saying right now. 
so don't worry if you miss anything and as you can see again this goes one block into the ground uh, all right the next thing uh, I mean I've already showed you the mat for changing the material and let's do it like glass and it's doing the same uh, the same oh my god the same cylinder shape only with glass and you can see now that it goes uh, one block into the ground uh, very clearly uh, there's also uh, the size tool and it allows you to change the size of your brush uh, like immediately so let's say four and now we have a bigger cylinder you can't change the height of a cylinder like this unfortunately you'd have to make a new tool for that or just override the already existing one uh, all right so the next thing uh, we'll actually do it on this one uh, is the smooth brush and it doesn't really work that's w that great for me I I was never one to use smooths and all that stuff uh, there is a flag that's that goes like minus n and this uh, restricts the brush only to natural terrain but there's no natural terrain not non smoothness here so we won't do that one uh, and of course the size and the size is actually uh, two times bigger than the one you state so if you say it's six because you can't use any uh, any more than six uh, you will actually have a brush size 12 uh, all right so if you right click it now this will smooth uh, the terrain um, I don't really like this because uh, I think it's not really doing its proper work of smoothing it's just <laughs> delating ground like whatever <laughs> all right so the next thing and actually the last kind of brush uh, is the come here uh, is the copy brush I mean clipboard brush and to do it will actually do it like this and let's select here and what direction are we staring at right now uh, or we'll just expand one all right uh, all right so now we have to copy it just like we would normally copy it uh, and let's bind it to this one we have to set the brush to clipboard so for that we have to write br copy and there's a flag of minus a uh, which goes for uh, not pasting the air blocks but since we have no air blocks uh, uh, selected we don't have to go with it uh, with with this all right so just brush copy and now if you right click it it will put your uh, copied space <laughs> copied selection in the in the in the spot you're looking at and you may wonder why it's like this flat it's all underground <laughs> for some reason like you can put something here and here and of course uh, I didn't show it with spheres because that that's really lagging my computer when I'm uh, oh my god when I'm recording but uh, you can just randomly put other uh, other stamps with the brushes uh, all the time and they will just stack onto each other uh, all right so the last thing we're talking about in this video uh, are the masks and the masks are like uh, special restrictions uh, for your brushes so that uh, it will be easier to pass paste something uh, what do we have here oh we have uh, a sphere actually th that's good all right so the first mask and to have a mask we have to write mask um, when you don't write anything in front of the list uh, of uh, logs you're going to list right now uh, it will it will go like the mask will apply uh, a thing <laughs> that your brush will only affect uh, certain blocks you specify so like uh, let's specify grass and if we specified grass our sphere that's supposed to look like this will only place itself 
on the grass. As you can see, there is nothing in the dirt here, only uh, a circle in the in the grass because that was the only block that could get affected. If we get it like, uh, oh my god, let's say grass dirt, it will place itself into the grass and into the dirt as well, but not above the ground because there's only air blocks here. Uh, all right, but if you write mask and an explanation mark this will create a blacklist actually so the blocks you specify here will, will not get affected by uh, by your brush yes brush that's what I was supposed to say uh, so let's say grass and dirt and this will actually make like half a sphere here above the ground as you can see, there's nothing inside the ground. Uh, Alright, so the next one is um, existing. And this will affect only blocks that are not air. So it will actually look like this. So let's make a mask and hashtag existing. And actually, if you spawn your sphere right now, it will look the same like this. So, underground there is a lot of glass and stuff, but above the ground there is nothing. So, like the exact opposite of this one. Uh, Alright, and then let's, let's set the time today. And let's make a selection right now. A big selection. Alright, so let's get one here and one here. And now let's expand five up and shift one up as well. All right, so the next mask uh, we're talking about is the region mask. And wait, I need to switch. <laughs> and to make it, we have to write mask hashtag region. And this will actually uh, only allow your brush to be placed inside this region so if you place it in the middle there will be a full half a sphere nothing will go underground because our selection is from the ground level is starting from the ground level and as you can see there's nothing underground here but if you place it almost at the rim of your uh, selection your sphere will be cut because it would normally extend past the selection so it can't go like this <laughs> all right so the last ones i will actually no in a second <laughs> all right so the last uh, two masks one is like uh oh my god mask uh uh, an arrow pointing this way will mean only above so uh, if we specify grass it will only set your brush on above grass so if there's no grass uh, to be placed uh, uh, to have your blocks placed on uh, this will not do anything so as you can see here these blocks are placed on the grass and there is nothing else and the second one, the last one, the last mask, we will need a selection for that. I mean, not exactly a selection, but it will be easier with a selection. Let's shift it like six spaces up and let's set it to stone. And now, if you set a mask that will have an arrow facing this side, it will mean only below. So now if we state stone, and of course you can uh, have a comma right now and write all the different materials you want to, uh, but let's go with stone only. If you specify stone right now and place your, uh, your sphere here, you will notice that it was in fact placed like this. So only below your stone. Where it was possible, it was possible and it created a circle like this in the stone. All right, so that's it for the brushes. 
thank you very much for watching this pa part of the tutorial slash showcase. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. All the comments that I've used will be in the description of this video. So if you forgot anything, you can just check it. Uh, there's there will of course of course also be a link uh, to the official Wikipedia where you can check the descriptions yourself and and just see in case you forgot anything. Uh, and of course the links to the other par parts of this tutorial made by me uh, are also in the description so you can navigate easily. Uh, so again, thank you for watching and of course if you have any further questions or anything you can ask me them in the comment section below or uh, write a private message and I will try to answer all of them. <laughs> and that's the last time I thank I'm thanking for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye!